Yeah. In slavery, we were given Christianity, but that's not the Bible. Watch this. Give me right. Revelation 1 verse 1. Watch this. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Yeah. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. Right, so if I reveal something to you, what am I doing, Jarrell? I'm showing you what this is. So John is going to show us, according to the Bible, what Christ looked like. Watch this. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible says that Christ's head and hairs were white like wool. So, question. What people in this world today has woolly hair? Look at this picture right here. Is this woolly hair or is it stringy hair? Bring it up. It's stringy. But the Bible the Bible says that he had woolly hair. Bring it up. But if you type Jesus Christ in the Bible right now, this picture right here comes up and he's got stringy hair. Let's so what does that mean, Jarrell? Somewhere there's a contradiction. Is it with the Christian church or is it with the Bible? Bring it up. There you go. Look at this. Woolly hair. That's what the Bible says that Christ has woolly hair. That's right. Hey, brother, how you doing? What's your name? Napoleon. What's that? Napoleon. Napoleon? Yeah. All right, let me know. Nice to meet you, bro. Come here. I'm asking Jarrell right here what color is Christ. What color do you say Christ is? He's our color. Well, Jarrell just finding this out because the Bible says he had hair like wool, wool white as snow. This man got stringy hair. Watch this. Keep listening. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The Bible says Christ's eyes was, was a flame of fire. If you look at this picture, what color is his eyes? It's a flame of fire. This man right here got blue eyes, brown, like brown eyes, green eyes. Another contradiction. The Bible says one thing. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. The Bible says his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? What's that? Brass. Brass. Yeah. It's like a brownish color. You agree? So if you were to take off y'all's shoes right now, would y'all feet be similar to the same color as your face and your hands and your arms? It might be a little bit lighter because they never see the sun most of the time. But the Bible says, read it again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So if you take anything and burn it in a furnace, what color will it turn? Yep. Burn red, burn hot, brown. It's going to be black. That's right. If I take grass and burn it in a furnace, it's going to be dark brown, which means Christ was a dark brown, black man. Right. That's right. If he was walking the earth today, you wouldn't even recognize him because he would be considered a nigger. Right. Yep. That's what, this is what the Christian church is not teaching. You're not going to find this out in these Christian churches. That's right. When you, like I say, this is what you're going to see. This is not Christ. So with that being said, if this is Christ, what does that mean to us? Give me Joel 27. If this is Christ, if Christ is a black man, what does that mean to you, Jarrell? What does that mean to you? Bring it up. What's that? What's that? Close, close. That's our father. That's our father. Christ is our brother. Right. From the same tribe that we come from, the tribe of Judah. If you're so called African American, you come from the tribe of Judah. The same tribe that Christ came from. Watch this. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And I am the Lord your God. He says, I am, I am in the midst of Israel, and I am your God. Read. And none else. And none else. So if you think that God came from everybody, he just said, I'm only here for my people, the Israelites. That's right. Which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. So what we got to do, if we know that, we got to come back to what this Bible says for us to do. Yep. Let's keep his commandments. Right. Do y'all know the commandments are according to the scriptures? Not by heart. But I don't Not by heart. Yeah. So do y'all believe that y'all are Israelites? Do you believe that, Jarrell, from what we read so far? Can you agree with that? You can, right? Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 15 again. We're going to come back there. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Bring up. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, 
to observe, to do all his commandments. Is that word commandments? It says the Bible says that we will not listen and observe to do all his commandments. Read and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, we are cursed because we will not keep God's commandments. Yeah. And to this day, we still don't keep God's commandments. And I'm gonna give you one. Y'all know what today is. Today is what? It's, well, no, just this day. What is, what is today? It's Saturday. That's right. Today is Saturday. According to the scriptures, the seventh day of the week is the Sabbath day. That's right. Y'all know that. They have no cooking. No cooking, no cleaning, no working. All of that is, is done on this day. Bring it out. But what day does America say is the Sabbath today? Bring it up. What day do all every black person in Jacksonville go to church just about? Sunday. Bring it up. But that's against the scripture. Watch this. Exodus 20 verse 8. Read. Exodus 20 verse 8. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Bible says to remember the seventh day to keep it holy because we will forget. When did we forget? Right here. Right here. Right here. In slavery. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. We got six days to labor and do all of our work. That means whatever you, whatever business transactions you're doing, you got Sunday to Friday to do them. Read. That's right. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read. In it thou shalt not do any work. Uh -huh. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that was in thy gate. Nobody should be working on the Sabbath day. Right. It says not even your, your uh, if you if you were an employer, your employees can't work on the Sabbath day. Real. Your animals can't work on the Sabbath day. Right. So everything should be shut down and we right. should be observing the Most High God Sabbath day. Which is what we're out here doing and what we're teaching you. What do, what, what do we get out of that? We get the kingdom of heaven by keeping God's commandments. Right. Right. Is that hard to do? It's not hard to do. Give me Nehemiah 10 verse 31. Hey, hold, hold on before you go. I gotta get, I gotta get it, baby. I'm gonna come back about an hour. Okay, read that. In verse the tenth, verse thirty-one. Bring it up. The people of the land bring where for any fiddles on the Sabbath day to sell. If we bring any fiddles, where any any kind of any type of product on the Sabbath day, Jarrell, are you listening? If we bring any type of product on the Sabbath day to buy or to sell, read. On the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We're not supposed to buy on the, on the Sabbath day or sell on the Sabbath day. Yeah. We're supposed to be observing this day, no working. Also, hey, brother, come up, come, come up, come up, brother. What's your name? What's your name? Good to meet you, man. I'm living you well. All right, what we're doing, we're teaching our people to come back to God's laws. That's right. We're teaching our people our nationality, that we're not African American, we're not blacks, we're not Hispanics. We are the, we are the uh, Israelites from the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, so on and so forth. If you look at this sign right here, where would you be from? Are you a so-called American black? So you're from what? The tribe of Judah. We just taught that Christ also came from the tribe of Judah. That's what means right. Christ is what? He's black like us. Right. You understand that? All right, keep reading. Yeah, about the 10th verse. Go to um, Exodus 16, verse 23. Read that. Exodus the 16, verse 23. What's going over right now is today is the Sabbath day. There's to be no buying and selling, no working, and now we're getting ready to go into no cooking. These are the commandments of the Most High God that we have broken as a people, which is the reason why we are cursed to this day. Right. Read. And he said unto him, this is that which the Lord has said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Bake that which you will bake today. We're supposed to bake what we're going to bake the day before the Sabbath. Read. And see that you will see. Fall and cook what you're going to cook before the Sabbath. Read. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So that's how we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day. There's no cooking, there's no working, there's no buying and selling. Yep. That is the commandments of the Most High God. Do y'all love God? How do you show God you love him? Bring it out. How do you show God you love him? 
No, I don't know. It's just a question. If you, you, yeah, you got any kids? How you? How would you tell your kids to show God that they love God? Yeah. Huh? What's that? Okay, we, we got this. You don't have to go deep with it. It's, it's not that, not that crazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When I say a kid, when I say a child, it's the same thing. It's, we don't have to go deep. All right. So, I'm asking a question. That's all. You called me over here. I'm asking a question. You don't have to get technical. Just answer the question. Yes or no? How do you show God you love God? Your connection with him. Let's get the call to the scripture. Read. Catch the 14, verse 15. Bring it up. If ye love me, keep my commandments. The Bible says if you love God, you got to keep his commandments. That's right. It's, it's that simple. So, with that being said, today is the Sabbath day. We should be keeping the Sabbath day. So, if you love God, you're going to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. Is that understood? It's, I mean, it's that simple. Give me 1 John 5, verse 3. Because we make it, we try to make it seem like it's a hard thing to do, but it's not. Right. It's very simple. Th these scriptures are very plain to those who can understand. Read. First Josh, the five, verse three. Yeah. For this is the love of God that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. So there it is again. The love of God is keeping His commandments, and His commandments are not grievous. I mean, they're not hard to do. That's right. They're easy to keep. So give me Numbers 15, verse 38. You're not going to learn this in the Christian church. The Christian church, the Christian pastors have lied to us year after year after year. Do you agree? Do you, do you go to church? Okay, what do you do? You study on your own. So do you believe you're an Israelite? So you know we got a school right here in Jacksonville? We do. Not too far from here. Not to 2858, 2851, Edgewood Avenue North. Right down the street. Read that scripture. Numbers at the 15th, verse 38. Bring it up. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. What you say? What's that? Come around. Don't leave, don't leave yet. Don't give me some more time before you go. I got some more I want to I um, read you out of the scriptures. But yeah, come around. We have Sabbath day every Saturday at 3 p.m. Come join us. Come come, come learn your nationality. Come learn your history and be on this side so you can teach your people. Yes, first, sir. you got to learn first. Right. All right? You can't teach yourself. You got to have somebody show you according to the say of the Lord. Yes, Watch sir. This. Numbers of the 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. The Bible says, bid them, which means command the children of Israel to put fringes on the borders of their garments. If you look on, on all our shirts out here, we have fringes. These are fringes. Three. Yes, right. Throughout their generations. When it says throughout the generation, what does that mean to you? Because the Christian church will tell you, all that stuff is done away with through the blood of Jesus. We ain't got to do that no more. But the Bible just says throughout your generations. That means it doesn't end. That's right. It continues on and on and on throughout your generation. I mean, your, you teach your children, your children teach their children. Bring it up. Throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. You may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So we're supposed to have these fringes with the border of blue and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's right. Black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision.
the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>